Hi everyone, welcome to this featured episode of Lights and Buttons. Tires is today's topic. While SUVs equipped with winter tires are known to be excellent in snow, especially the ones that have all-wheel drive, you have all the right combinations. What about in less ideal situations? What about sedans that have lower ride heights? What about all-season tires versus winter tires? We all know summer tires are terrible in winter and there are lots of YouTube videos that show how all-wheel drive cars struggle with summer tires in snow. We're not going to show that today because that's been tested and proven. We're going to see all-season tires versus winter, specifically with my personal car, the 2013 Acura TL. This Acura TL is a torque vectoring all-wheel drive car, which means that it will dynamically shift power from front to back wheels as well as side to side for the rear wheels. It doesn't matter how smart the all-wheel drive system is, if you have the wrong tires on, that's kind of like wearing the wrong shoes for the event that you're in. Whether it's rock climbing with, let's say, dress shoes, or if you're walking in heels in wet grass. The first test is with the Michelin Pilot all-season tires. This came from the factory and performs pretty well when there's no snow. But once you start adding snow, it starts to struggle a little bit, and when you start adding more snow, specifically, eight and a quarter inches of snow, this is where it struggles a lot. As you can see, Acura's super handling all wheel drive system is working very hard. It shifts power from the front wheels to the back wheels, it tries all kinds of combination, yet it's still unable to get the car moving. This shows that the weakest link here are the tires and since the tires are the only thing that contacts the road when you drive, well, no traction in the tire means that you're not going anywhere. Let's move on to the winter tires. I have the Bridgestone Blizzak WS80 that one of my friends recommended to me and this is mounted on a 17 inch Sport Edition A8. That was kind of a boring test. The tires performed very well and uh, not much of a slip or anything and I'm back in the garage. Let's measure the snow. Most of the streets haven't been plowed yet, and it looks like we have 10 inches of snow. Now, if you're watching this video and it's around the spring or summer time frame, but it snows in your area in the winter, this gives you some time to A, budget for some tires and some wheels, B, select the design that you want so you can plan this ahead of time, and C, you can have this all lined up and then by the time fall comes, you can have your order in and your car prep for winter. But if you're watching this in a fall time frame, this at least gives you a preview of the benefits that you can get if you quickly run out, uh, do your research, get some winter tires for your car, and then swap it out before the snow comes. Now that you've seen what happens when you drive with winter tires in snow, we're going to move on to explain why that works and how, if you decide to, buy winter tires. Now this video primarily talks about winter tires, but I feel like when we cover summer tires versus winter tires, we can get a better background information when we talk about all season tires. So for winter tires, let's start talking about three major points. First off, we have the compound. The compound are softer in colder temperatures. This is important because softer rubber will grip the road much better. Speaking of gripping, that leads us to point number two, which is tread. Tires have different types of tread design, and in winter tires, there are also sipes, which are those little zigzag cuts. Those help with traction in winter weather, and the treads are also deeper in these types of tires. The third point is width. The width of the tire matters because for winter tires, you want the tires to be narrower. Now, if you think of like a sled, 
the sled rides on bars, they're relatively thin compared to their length. That helps it keep the sled on track. So in the same way, you want the winter tires to dig into the snow and avoid riding on top of the snow. So having narrower tires will help in this case. And if you're using winter tires in the warmer weather, it will wear away much quicker because of its soft compound and that's something that you don't want. Let's switch over to summer tires. First point we talked about was the compound. For summer tires, the compounds are softer in warm weather, but once the weather drops into the colder temperatures, the rubber starts to get hard and you lose a lot of the grip. And in some cases I've heard if even without the grip, it can damage the tires because the tires can't flex as well. Next up, the tread. The treads are different than the winter tires because the manufacturers also make the treads not as deep because you're not trying to go for the deep snow. Also, there's a lot of smooth surfaces and that's to maximize the road contact. Now, speaking of the road contact, this brings us to point number three, which is the width. Summer tires typically are wide. So in my case, my summer tires are 245 millimeters in width. Some cars go higher. There could be 255. Some of them could even be something like 305. My winter tires, they're spec'd out to be 225 millimeters. Now that we've discussed the difference between the winter tires and the summer tires, let's talk about all-season tires. The all-season tires is more of a compromise because when we talk about the, let's say, the tread, right? How can you have a tread that's shallow and deep at the same time? We talk about the tire width. How do you have a tire that's wider and narrower at the same time? So you always find something that's in between. So it's like a jack of all trades, master of none. But why are we emphasizing tires so much? Yes, you can see the difference in the extreme case where in deep snow, winter tires can grip much better. But another thing also comes up. You don't necessarily need snow or deep snow to benefit from winter tires. In colder temperatures, the winter tires grip better in general, even without snow. I know if I mentioned the point where having the proper tires is kind of like having the proper shoes on. But it really boils down to safety. It's kind of like seat belts. You don't pay extra for seat belts. And yes, I know it's required by law. But seat belts, if they're used once to save your life, then it's worth it. In the same way, if you buy the proper tires and it avoids a collision, then it just paid itself off. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends, especially for those who aren't really exposed to the benefit of the different types of tires. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.